Welcome everybody to the mid-March edition of our exclusive environmental blog called Your Environment. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what goes on around here where it comes to environmental, ecological, recycling information and all that for the Mid-South area and points beyond. We'll be talking about all sorts of things in just a little bit, but this is the for the edition of March 17th, 2019. This will record, record this on Sunday nights and let you take a look at it throughout the course of the rest of the week. Coming up in just a little bit. We'll take a look back at the youth climate strike. What effects did it have? Both pro and con comments out there. And we'll also take a look at some of the pictures from around the globe as kids work their way through the capitals and city streets all over the world to demonstrate that they want to have a voice in what goes on with their planet in the future. Some very unique signs, some very passionate amounts of work out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll also take a look and see about how much time we have left until Earth Hour 2019. Your opportunity to be able to conserve energy, save money, and promote all of this at the same time so that we can all collectively use less natural resources. More on that coming up. Plus, how much have we saved in the rainforest this week? week. A decent amount, but still we need to work on that. And we'll tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Questions, concerns, ideas, especially events, anything like that, drop that to, again, my email address right below here at austin.onic at wreg.com. I would love to have more about your events and notices and things like that out there. You can post stuff to our Facebook page, also to, again, our main page. This is available at wreg.com slash weather slash environment. As you scroll down a little bit, there'll be more information about the different amounts of uh, videos out there that you can take a look at through the course of the last several days and weeks and your opportunity to, again, catch up on what we've been talking about here all available on our website over the last few days out there. More information again on the Rainforest site. All you have to do is click on the big green button over here and then view some sponsor ads and then the sponsors will pay to set aside rainforest space that is being developed for farming territory. The rainforest is again our, the lungs of our planet. We need to protect them so that we don't have again a disaster and more pollution shaping up for the entire planet. So again something you'd like to do at the rainforestsite.com. Taking a look again at less than about almost less than 12 days until Earth Hour. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Good news again for air quality in the Mid-South area. We're not seeing any major problems out there. The green numbers over here in the right-hand column from Air Now from the Environmental Protection Agency and the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation showing good air quality today and expected good air quality into tomorrow and right around the Memphis metro area. Again, we can wind up with some pretty heavy amounts of pollution here being a large metropolitan area, <clears throat> excuse me, not seeing that at this point in time. And you can get more information on this by going to epa.gov or airnow.gov and picking out your particular location of the country to take a look at. We are going to be seeing again the possibility of some lot more problems heading our way. From the National Weather Service, what you're looking at is a map of again all of the river stages that are in flood out there, including the Memphis area on the Mississippi River. Now, the problem we've got into the course of the next several days is that all of this water that is falling down this direction is going to be making its way down from the streams north of us, including off the Missouri, and that's going to be draining its way down toward the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to be seeing a decent amount of flooding rainfall, and this is a major flood already in progress across the upper Midwest thanks to some rapid snow melt. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. If you'd like to see more about this and where this is going on, all you have to do is go to water.weather.gov for more information and you can keep track of river, creek, level streams and also around lakes and reservoirs all across the Mid-South and points beyond. Every single dot that you see on this screen is a measurement gauge to tell us what's going on and unfortunately way back up toward the Red River, the Missouri River, upwards of the upper Mississippi Valley. We've got a lot of flooding going on. This is going to be a major travel headache for a lot of places, and it's going to keep the Mississippi River level very high into the next several days. So keep it tuned for more on that. The youth climate strike was this last Friday. 
as a lot of kids and students broke away from class, some on spring break, so they didn't have to do that, but again, being lauded by many groups out there and again, criticized in others as well as the students took to the streets to again, make certain that their voices were heard. And there's a lot more of that going on and probably again, a lot more expected as we go into the future out there. Getting some interesting comments out there, including the fact that if one network uh, has an important event, why didn't one report mention uh, the tens of millions of students worldwide marching against climate change and or global warming? Well, here's the thing. Yes, there was one report, might have mentioned that about that. I wasn't listening to that particular report as this individual said. Says, but there were plenty of places out there that were talking about what was going on and everybody's opinion as to what went on with it. There was a decent amount of stuff all the way across the web. So if you weren't looking for it or you were criticizing the movement for only being featured on one particular website or one particular network and there wasn't enough information for you, then you haven't been watching properly to see what goes on around the world. This from the New York Times, several other videos and pictures from around the youth climate strike over the course of the entire planet and also the reactions to it all the way on through, including some pretty uh, decently straightforward comments from the kids in many of these countries, including the organizer Greta Thunberg, who is talking in the Swedish area outside the parliament house as we go through uh, a lot of this, again, going to be seeing what happens next year. And again, more information from the kids as they get more vocal about the future of their planet out there and a decent amount of information out there about what happened. So all you have to do is just take a look around to see what went on. Your opinions, again, what, what happened, let us know, and we'll put some of those opinions on our report coming up over the course of the next several weeks. So again, chime in and see what you think out there. Some people thought it was a great idea. Other people thought it was just students slacking off. So if you'd like to post your opinion, let us know on social media, and we'll post some of those coming up over the course of the next several weeks. Don't forget that the Chickasaw group of the, Miss of the Sierra Club has tons of information and training events coming up. If you'd like to know a little bit more about how you can talk to your administrators in the legislature, to your lawmakers about what goes on out there, how you can get involved in local cleanup efforts, how you can, again, make certain that your voices and your opinions are heard and made known to your legislators, you can go to sierraclub.org slash Tennessee slash Chickasaw to find out more about what their local events are like. The Wolf River Conservancy has a ton of stuff going on, including, again, a lot about the Wolf River, the watershed specifically about why and how they're trying to protect it, and several other groups around the Mid-South area working with them. World Water Day is coming up this Friday, and also, again, the Wolf River Harbor Cleanup, which is going to be Saturday, March 23rd. If you'd like to participate in that, all you have to do is go to Wolf wolfriver.org to find out more about how you can clean up the trash that floats down the Wolf River Harbor for more information there. All right, Earth Hour is coming. What is it and how can you help? You can take a look at how much energy you use at your home, your business, your place of worship. If you have a conference room at work that is left on all week long, that's 168 hours of energy that you are paying for. If you can set a timer on these lights, and make sure that they're only on on the hours that you need them to, you're going to cut out not only the energy wasted in keeping those lights on all the time, but you're also going to save a lot of money, about two-thirds more if you only use them during regular business hours. So there's a lot that can be accomplished on this. And if you've never thought about this before, in 12 days, your opportunity to go around your home, your business, wherever, and turn off the lights and learn a little bit more about what may be happening and how you can help fix things. So Earth Hour is going to be coming. And again, that's in 12 days. We'll be doing our fifth year of the great turn off of lights here at News Channel 3 to see just how many lights are left on over the weekend and maybe again through the course of the rest of the entire week and how much that actually costs us. It's a pretty decent amount, actually, 
over $10,000 one year, as a matter of fact. 87 million square feet, over 2,000 acres have been saved after 4 million clicks. Go to the rainforestsite.com for more information about how you can help on things like that just by clicking a button out there. Again, if you have any local events, recycling, cleanups, anything like that going on, please let me know and we'd be glad to pass them along here on our Echo blog. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com and would love to have you along for the ride. More information coming up next week, again, about Earth Hour and a whole bunch more on your environment blog. Thanks for joining us for this week. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik and stay tuned for more.